Hello everyone, welcome to Cooking with Nana. Today I'm going to be cooking a jambalaya rice that's boiling right now. I added my seasonings to it and I'm adding two cloves of garlic to this rice. I'm going to be cooking salmon, which I already cut in the middle. I'm going to stuff that with the rice. I'm going to have asparagus and my meal will be complete. This is my dinner guys. Okay, so right here guys, I have two onions I'm chopping up for my rice that's cooking. And I'm also chopping these onions up for, um, to put on my, put inside my, uh, my salmon. So I'm just getting these chopped up. I'm doing them kind of big. It's going to be some spread on top of the salmon and some inside the salmon. These are purple onions. I just love purple onions. They just taste better to me. So I'm trying to get these chopped up. Now you guys already know I'm not real good at chopping, but I do what I do. So I'm trying to get these onions chopped up. These onions chopped up in here. Okay, so I'll put that over there. And then I'm going to be chopping up a yellow bell pepper. This is going to go on top of my salmon, and I might put some inside the salmon. I'm not for sure yet. Depends on how I feel. So this is going to be red bell peppers and yellow bell peppers. Okay, guys, I got my rice cooking. This is I'm using jambalaya rice for this recipe. Once this get cooked, I'm going to add one third cup of cream cheese and mix that together. And then I'm going to stuff it with inside of my salmon and I'm going to bake it at 365 degrees or maybe 350 and then I'm going to cook some asparagus okay guys so my rice is done now I'm about to stir this cream cheese in here I put about one third stick of the cream cheese to my rice this is going to be my stuffing for my salmon this is jambalaya rice i use various seasonings vegetables um bell peppers garlic maybe like two or three cloves of garlic red and yellow bell peppers with red onions so i'm getting this all mixed up and this is going to be my stuffing for my um for my salmon see you back hey guys my rice mixture is done which is um, jalambalaya rice, and I added um, bell peppers, red and yellow, garlic, and one third cup of cream cheese. So I'm going to stuff my salmon with the rice, and then I'm going to season it. See, I'm stuffing it with the rice. I split it in half, stuffing it in the rice. This is stuffed salmon. Okay, that's covered now. I'm going to be adding some seasonings. One is going to be stuffed and one's not going to be stuffed. So I'm just having one stuffed and one not stuffed. Baked salmon. Adding my seasoning. I have some Creole seasoning. Because this is, is jambalaya rice. Just something I wanted to try out. So I already seasoned the other side. So now I'm going to be slicing me up some, let me put it in this pan right here real quick. I'm going to put it in this pan. It's my stuff, stuff salmon. Okay, so now I'm going to, let me move this. It's in this little pan right here. I'm going to be adding some vegetables on top and some garlic and I'm going to bake it in the oven at like 350 so just getting some bell peppers cut in here on top for more flavor they're big pieces it doesn't matter because it's just basically for flavor this is stuffed salmon I use I made a rice dressing which was jambalaya rice and um I seasoned it and I added one third cup of cream cheese so I got that on there I'm gonna cut one glove one garlic clove just to go on top 
and um, in the oven this goes. So this is just one garter clove cut on top. I'm going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil. It's already been seasoned, guys. I don't want to over season it. See you back. Okay, guys, so with this meal also, with the stuffed salmon, I'm going to be doing asparagus. I'm cooking some asparagus. I'm just cutting off the ends for my asparagus. They already been washed. You know, you don't have to cut off as much as you want. Just try to get off the bad part. But I think this is a pretty good batch of asparagus right here. So, I'm going to have um, stuffed salmon with jambalaya rice and asparagus. That's going to be my dinner for today, guys. Okay, guys. So, right here, I'm doing my asparagus. I'm going to season it with a little bit of black pepper. I put a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of the pan. And I'm just putting a little different seasonings on here. You know, whatever type of seasoning you like, I'm going to um, be adding some sea salt. So it's just cooking. You can, I know you can hear it, right? It's cooking. So, I'm trying to get this pop off. Okay, so I'm going to be adding a little bit of sea salt. Sorry for the... Um, Taking a little bit long to get back with you on that part. I had to get that sea salt opened up. Just bought it yesterday. So this is my asparagus. I just seasoned it with a little bit of garlic powder, a little onion powder, and I put some sea salt on here. So this is the seasonings that I'm using. And once it get almost done, then I'm going to put a teaspoon of butter to it and just cover it up and let it finish um, steaming the rest of the way. Okay, so you guys, my asparagus is cooking. I added a little bit of butter to it, and it's cooking. So I'm about to turn the skillet down really low and cover it with a top and just let it steam the rest of the way. Hello, guys. My dinner is complete. I have my stuffed um, salmon. I have my asparagus. I have my rice. And you see how it just flakes apart? It is nice and tender. I'm about to give it a taste. This is stuffed salmon with rice. Let me taste it. Oh my God, guys. This is so delicious. Thank you for watching Cooking with Nana. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you. Good night.